This is the fourth in our series of tutorials on building Logic CXS24 drum kits. Um, what we're going to do this time is going to do some more interesting stuff. Uh, so we've created another folder as we did in the last tutorial. So we can do our load multiple samples trick again. And this folder we've called perk, short for percussion. And we've got a cymbal, a cowbell and a clav. So add all, done. Options same as last time, drum zones without range. Okay load that up and then we're just going to put these across three keys so we've got them to play with so again disable pitch and I'll show you some of the other options available to you when you're doing your naming and you've got longer names like this if you move your mouse to the line between the columns you see it changes shape, you can drag those out so you can actually see what you're doing. So we'll just quickly name these. And finally symbol. Now we've got the ability to tune these samples to anything that we like. So if we select our cowbell, and then you see under this menu here, pitch, coarse and fine. So we can take that coarse, right down, and go for a little higher than that. Okay, so this is a totally original sound from what we had earlier. And what we can also do to that is reverse it to make it go backwards. So you start to see the creative possibilities that come with the EXS24 sampler. Uh, another trick which is quite often used is to reverse symbols. So again, I'll just show you that very quickly. You can click here, playback, reverse, select it. And you begin to see how creative you can get using the EXS24 and literally mould samples to do anything you need them to do. And that's the end of part four.